Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Aixa. And today we are going to be opening up May's Boxy Charm. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. So I decided to go get the premium one this month because last month's premium was a lot better than my last month's basic box. So I was like, mm, let's try the premium out for May. If I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll stick to the basic, right? So the basic box I had in my house for a week or two, right? And maybe like a week and they sent it out and by the time i got this box they still haven't shipped out my premium box and i'm like why have i not gotten my premium box yet like why isn't it even shipped out so they shipped it out like oh, oh, i don't even know but it just came in literally today and i'm going to be unboxing them both of them um i was thinking of doing a full face using both of the products that we get in there i don't know how that's gonna work yet i'm still trying to figure it out but we will figure it out together yes so um let's talk about the boxes so this one is 25 dollars a month this is the basic box and it comes with over i believe a hundred dollars worth of products and it has full size and deluxe sample size products in it five i believe um for the premium i believe it was like seven or eight items in it um yeah i believe it was seven or eight items inside of the premium box i did not do that much research honestly i just know it's 35 dollars a month and it comes with more items than the print basic does and it gives you more of a value um yeah so let's start that one feels very light but it's a big box so let's start with the basic box like always um and hopefully they brought a card this month because i do not want to look things up after having to look up ipsies i was like what's wrong with the card is it if you're gonna put a card in the box at least have the card have the products you know yeah so let's open this up is it anything good oh okay so the card yes there's a card there's a card there's a card Thank you, Boxy Charm. Thank you, Boxy Charm. You can't really. Oh, okay. So there's stuff outside and inside, and oh my God, this looks wow. Hold up, because I holy crap. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the first thing I see is a palette, and this is from Ace Beauty, and this one is the Scarlet Dusk palette. Um, I don't think I have this one because I remember they gave me another Ace Beauty palette But I think that one was like the vintage vintage dusk or something like that Um, let's open this up Ooh, mirror beautiful Um, oh yeah, this definitely ooh, okay. I am a mess of life. This one is not the one that I have This one is so pretty it gives me such like red and orange vibes and i am obsessed i am a huge red tone girl so this is so pretty so i don't know what i'm doing with this but this is so like i'm so excited so this values at 34.99 so basically 35 dollars i just don't understand just keep the penny baby just keep the penny um, so this is $35, so we're going to be playing with this today. Um, the next thing we have is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Um, energize and Rescue with Aloe, Coconut Water, and Probiotics. Silicone free. Um, okay, so we got our primers. Um, this is Do you guys see the size of this? Do you? $33? Okay. Next is oh, the Glam Glow Berry Probiotic Recovery Mask. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with this color. Like this is such a pretty like purple fuchsia color. Um, not really big on mask. Let's see how it smells. Um... Honestly, it looks like it has, let's show you this. I don't want to spill it. If I spill it, I'm going to cry. It has like, um, it looks like it has like raspberries, like berries 
smushed into the mask, which I think is really cute. Okay, let's do it this way because maybe this way it won't fall as much. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It's like sliding with me. Oh my god. Um, it, honestly, you can't even smell the berries though. It just smells like clay. But I think that's really cute. My sister would definitely have fun with this because I know I won't really use it. So um, this retails at $49, which I think it's a pretty good price because it's a pretty big size. Um, you do get a lot in it, honestly. Like this thing is basically like filled to the top. The next thing we have is the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Okay, but is this like a priming oil? It's just like, you know, a face oil. like. I don't know. I feel like I'd be asking crazy questions, but like you really got to send directions with me. Um, the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Bring out skin's inner radiance. Illuminating oil. Uh, signature beauties. Moisturize and improves appearance of skin over time. So this is basically just skincare based. And I'm sorry, I don't think I read this correctly. I don't think I read the price correctly. It says $42. 40 40 $42. $42. $42. Let me... 40 two yeah um again not big skincare person but i will put it in my bucket of skincare and the last thing holy crap that is in this box is a dose of colors lip it up satin lipstick and it is in the shade mocha um so let's open this up oh okay so you can't really tell the color from the packaging um this oh does it twist like okay there's a thing down here that's twisting oh it is twisting yeah look oh my goodness let's roll that back in there um let's swatch it on my hand this is a pretty color oh this is a really pretty color i feel like it's very like a nice natural lip thing going on i like it a lot actually this is really cute I like the packaging. It's very different from like a lipstick that comes like in a tube. Like usually it's just a you open it and you roll it, but like it's like a whole function at the bottom. I don't know. I just feel like it's very different. I think it's really cute. Can't wait to play with that. Um, and the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lipstick is $17. Honestly, this box is pretty nice like you get a lot of good a lot of i got a lot of expensive expensive stuff in there but i think a lot of it is nice like even though i don't really even though i don't really use like skincare like i know my, like someone would get a use of this it's not like not gonna be me but someone would if i were just had to do a mask i have these stuff like you know and I, I think that's really good because these are like expensive stuff um palette love it's a little red tone love it uh the pure um primer nice lipstick beautiful like i liked it the overall value for this specific box i believe in this area here um i like it a lot i feel like they redeemed themselves from last month's box because last month's box i was just not happy at all okay and now it's time to open up <laughs> i almost got beat up it's time to open up the premium box um so let's just get the trusty scissors out again and again this one is 35 dollars a month yes 35 dollars a month and i believe it was like seven to eight full size items i should have really done some more research but let's open it up let's hope there's some good stuff inside and it's Let's try this again because I always do this. Always, always do this. Am I opening it? Am I? Can I just take this thing out? Okay, there we go. Oh, this one's blue. This one's kind of cute. Okay, but anyway, the box, the box, is the box good? Can you guys see? Um, everything is like. three four five six six items are in here so the first thing we have and is there no card this one doesn't even have a card <sighs> listen all i'm saying is you sent it out like 500 weeks late then you don't even bring me a card and i'm just like my heart's breaking okay let's see 
The first thing we have is from Milk Makeup, which is the Glow Oil Lip and Cheek, a sheer blush and lip stain. Ooh, in the shade Flare. Uh, let's open this. I'm trying to pop it open. Pop it, pop it. No? Mm. I am a str How do you pop this open? How do you? If anyone out there knows how to open this, please let me know. Oh, got it. <laughs> Put that in there. I think this is a really pretty color. Um, it's very like orange based and it's very sheer and oh, it's very shimmery. Um, it's pretty. Um, I guess we'll see how I like it. If it's nice, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how does it blend out? Yeah, when it's blended out, it's like very sheer. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that works. The next thing we have is the spongily, 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 spongily. Yeah, that. This right here. Mhm. Mm the salted rose mani pedi treatment clean cleanses, exfoliates, softens, and hydrates. Seven plus washes each buffer. So all-in-one beauty treatment. Oh, so this is like a little soap. Oh, there's two little soaps. It actually smells pretty good. I like this, this is really cute. So this is the Many Petty Treatment Set. Um, seven washes each buffer. So that's like, what, 14 washes for each one? Uh, perfect treat for your dry hands and feet infused with a skin softening formulation and soothing extracts of peppermint and sea kelp. These dual-sided buffers will dual-sided, not dull, dual, dual dual-sided buffers will leave your hands and feet silky smooth. Oh, they smell nice. So we'll see how they perform if whenever I use them later on in life. Um, why can I why how are they not going back in the box? Like, am I doing this wrong? Or like oh there we go, right? No, because it doesn't want to close up. Oh my goodness. I'm a struggle of life. A life. So the next thing that we have is the Kat Von D Inkwell Liner. So is this before Kat Von D was KVD Beauty now? Or is this when it was Kat Von D? Um, this is Inkwell and Lolita. Let me just tell you, Lolita is my favorite shade for the lipsticks. Oh, so pretty. So we have the eyeliner in the shade Lolita. It says shake it. I did shake it. Oh, it's kind of squirted everywhere. It's a very um liquidy liner. Let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. So it's actually a felt tip, which is cool because I'm a felt tip girl, not a, a the flimsy brush kind of girl. I think this is so pretty. Oh, I mean, I love the the um, the um, the lipstick shade. So of course it's gonna be the same shade. It's just an eyeliner now. Um, it's actually it's already dry. It's already dry. So let's see if I can. I'm gonna be here for a while, guys. Just so you know, I'm gonna be here for a while. So let's just leave it for now and move on to the next thing, which is the Sugar Rush Tart Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. Mm. And the shade Peony. Ooh, so I'm getting a lot of sugar. Oh, it has little diamonds. That's a diamond daisy. Um, I'm getting a lot of sugar rush because I got the I got the Sugar Rush lipstick from my Ipsy bag. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, and it's a bomb, it's a, oh, it smells so good, honestly, it kind of smells like vanilla, and I don't like vanilla, so for me to say it smells good, and it kind of smells like vanilla, it smells good, mm, that's just a little bit on, because you know, I like to keep my lips hydrated, mm -hmm. 
I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Let's just put that to the side. Um, we have two more items in here, so let's just take them out and then just move the box to the side. Okay, so the next thing we have is the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio from Smashbox in Holy Crop. Ooh, child. Ooh, let's get these. How do you open this? I like it because it's like a, a little camera lens. Literally, it's like a little zoom lens. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Let's open it up. The three colors. I think this is really cute for like on the go. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Um, there's only one matte shade in here. And then the other two are like shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna use this one on one eye and then I use the other palette on the other eye just so that I can play with both and you guys can see how it is and how it performs. The last thing that we have is the Lightning Blush from Hourglass. Oh, I love Hourglass. And this is in the shade Diffused Heat. Oh, I love Hourglass. Their foundation, their stick foundation, amazing. The packaging that they have is just be so sleek. Oh, it's so expensive. I know this is expensive. Like the Hourglass foundation, I believe, is like forty-two dollars. So this has to cost a little pretty penny. So let's open it up. Oh, this reminds me of the um the Ciate, the Ciate Moon Dusk, Moon Dusk, Moonlight Dusk, or something like that. Um, Marble Dusk, something like that. The the blush that I got from Ipsy or BoxyCharm a couple months ago back and it, it reminds me just like that like the marbled look oh it's so pretty though so I'm probably gonna use the cream under before I set my face and then I'll just top it off with this because this is pretty sheer so I think that that's really cute that I have this as well okay so we got some good stuff to play with this month so I'm going to go off camera I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll come back on to do my eyes okay so now we got the eyebrows done and i primed the lids using the p louise base um we're gonna work on the eyes so let's start with um the smashbox one first since it's smaller and it's easier to use it's literally like three colors um so hmm, hmm, hmm. how are we gonna do this so i'm thinking of doing something really quick and really simple so i think i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna lightly dab onto the dark brown here just lightly because i don't want it to boot too dark and we're using that morphe m533 brush and we're going to put it into the crease so now we're going to take this wet and wild brush and we're going to dip into this gold it's not even gold it's like a copper shade here um and we're going to put that all over the lid and with the clean side of that brush we're going to dip into this so not even silvery this like champagne shade here do they have names oh, they do have names it's actually on the back okay so that dark brown one caught it the dark brown one is called miss chili the copper one is called ox outfoxed and the champagne one is called lounge lounge jere lounge array um so we're gonna go with lounge array and we're gonna just put that in the center of the lid. And that's it for that side of the eye. So now let's do the other side and that's when we're gonna go into the Scarlet Dusk palette. Um, I haven't really decided what I wanted to do with it yet, Um, but let's just play around. Okay, so we're gonna dip into, Lo oh no, not Lotus. We're gonna dip into Bahamas. Um, which is this pretty shade in the corner. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's not a lot of kickback, which is nice. Um, and we're gonna put that into the crease. Okay, so now we're gonna take the shade um, Lotus and we're going to use that to blend out the harsh lines of the crease. So it's gonna go a little bit above the crease so just to blend out the line. Now that we got the crease blended out seamlessly yeah we're gonna take this wet and wild shadow brush and we're going to dip it into shangria here 
And we're gonna put that in the outer V of the eye. I am honestly living for this cranberry eye that I have going on right now. Now we're just gonna take this Lorella um, shadow brush and we're gonna dip into Meowy, Maui here. Very pretty pink, dusty, duochrome kind of, it looks very duochrome shade that's going on here. And we're going to put that in the inner corner of the lid. The Maui shade was a little bit more dusty, so I had to spray it down um, to kind of get it on the lid the way it is now. Um, it was a little bit hard to play with, though. Now we're going to put on some eyeliner, so we're going to be using the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Lolita. And we're going to wing both sides. Um, so the shade that the eyeliner is is really pretty, but I feel like with this, these eyes, you can't really tell much. Um, I do feel like it looks a lot better on this side because it has a more of a coppery tone, whereas to this side it just looks like it's brown and it kind of blends in and you can't really tell much. So I'm just going to put on some mascara and I'm going to put on some lashes and we'll be back. Okay, so I put on some mascara and I got some lashes on. Today I'm using the, where's the box go? <laughs> the uh, Lorella lashes in the style London. Um, and now we're going to prime the, prime the face. And we're using the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. We're just going to put, oh, it's sealed. That's good. Um, do you think it's going to be a color since it's a correcting primer? Hmm. We're just going to put a little bit on the not the back, on my two fingers, and we're gonna put it all on our face. Can I just say, it smells so good. I don't know, it's kinda smell like bubble gum, but I don't think it's bubble gum. I don't know, it just smells so good. So now we're going to put on some foundation, and we're gonna be using the Tarte Face Tape today, and we're going to be putting it on the BS Moth um, Face Angled Brush. We're just gonna get two pumps and then we're gonna put it all on the face. And now we're going to conceal the face and we're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. And we're going to conceal under the eyes and in the center of the face. Okay, so now we are going to blend it out and we're using the Wet n Wild uh, foundation brush to do so. So now that we have the concealer on, um, we are going to use the Milk uh, Makeup, the little blush thing on before we set the face. So we're just going to dollop this up on our cheeks. I feel like it was pulling my foundation off and you can see here it was pulling my foundation off. And then I got a little eyelash on there too. Let's just clean that up. So we're just going to blend that out with our fingers. I feel like this is very sheer and I think that this would be really pretty um, if you're doing like a no makeup look and you want to be a little rosy because I don't think that this is works with because like it literally it feels very I don't know it's like it looks like it did nothing to me I mean it gave it like a little shine but I don't really feel like it did anything to me and I think that it's really basically just pulled them off pulled off my foundation and my concealer um, so let's just set the face before it starts to crease and all of that and we're using the Jeffree Star uh, setting powder in the shade Topaz And then we're just gonna take this Tarte um, Flamingo brush and we're gonna set the under the eyes and then the rest of the face 
siempre fuiste la coqueta. Dime lo que, dime lo que tú quieres de mi coqueta. Sé lo que te gusta de salir y se suelta. Now we are going to bronze up the skin and we're going to use the YC Collection bronzer in the shade Carmelo. Um, and we're going to take this Wet n Wild uh, bronzing blush, blush, brush. We're just going to dip in there and then contour the skin, bronze up the skin. Now that we are nice and bronzed, we is going to rosy up the cheeks and we're going to go in with our glass blush in ambient, no, diffused heat. I don't know what's going on. I can't talk anymore. And we're going to take this Real Techniques 300 brush and we just go rosy up the cheeks, baby. And it seems like you feel the same. Could have had everything, but... Oh my goodness, this is so pretty, so pretty, so, 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 so pretty. Oh, I love it. It's like just the right amount of pink that doesn't make it look too crazy. So before we move on to highlight and then setting everything, we're just going to work on the lower lash area. So let's start with this side and we're going to go back in with the Smashbox. So we're just going to take this e.l.f. blending brush, but we're not. We're just going to put it in the, the, the talk. We're going to dip it into Miss Chili, I think that's what it was. Yeah, Miss Chili. And we're going to smoke that to the bottom lash. Now we're just going to take this BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and um, we're going to dip into lingerie and put that in, in the corner of the eye. You had to go and mess it all up. So now that we finished up this side, we're going to go in with the Ace, the, not the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette and we're going to do on this side. We're going to take this Wet n Wild kind of fluffiest brush and we're going to dip into Bahamas and smoke that out into the bottom line, lash line. And we're gonna go in with that same Loretta brush we used earlier for um, Lotus, and we're gonna go back into Lotus just to blend out the lower lash. So now we're just gonna take this like um, flattish kind of brush from the Juno and Co little brush thing here, like the little set, and we're gonna dip into Aruba, and we're gonna put it in the inner corner of the eye. So now we're gonna take some of that damn girl mascara and we're gonna put it on the lower lashes. Okay, so is that that better? I feel like I could use a little bit of eyeliner at the bottom, but it's fine. Now we're going to highlight the face and we're using the ColourPop The Real Thing Highlighter. And we're gonna go in with this Lurella fan brush and we're gonna glow, baby, glow. Now it's time to face, face. We have to set the face and we're using the Zuri Flawless Makeup Setting Mist. Now that this face is set, we is gonna put on the lipstick. And we are gonna go in with the Dose of Colors lipstick in Mocha. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. The lipstick, the way that the way that its shape is to like help prevent you know overdrawing and stuff is really really cute really really cute but the way it's shaped made me overdraw my lips i feel like it kind of like cut off in certain sections that i had to redo it and then ended up overdrawing it and overdrawing it and then now they look like this so the whole concept of the shape nice concept application wise I still overdrew my lips, um, but they did they, the color beautiful 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 Okay, so let's zoom you guys out and let's talk about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so The palettes the ace beauty one I freaking adore 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 the more shimmery shades 
are a little bit harder to play with both of them and I feel like it kind of brought me down a bit but the mats were freaking amazing they were beautiful I loved it the Smashbox one so for the oh my goodness this darker brown the Miss Chili um it blended out very nicely I would say um but the other two were they were pretty as well but I feel like unless you you are do you are this kind of person where you need just three colors and you keep it going I feel like it's a little bit boring to me especially with two of the shades being shimmer and one matte I mean it's very convenient for those that like it like stuff like that but I need a big old palette with a bunch of colors give me options for days please but it's very nice and it's really cute I think it went on nicely it blended out nicely it did what it did and it was really quick it was like one two three done so it was nice the milk um, blush I feel like it's mostly good for no makeup kind of rosiness not so much of oh cream over your foundation because I feel like it just stripped off my foundation and it really didn't show up either so I feel like if you're not wearing makeup and you want a tint a hint of color this will be really pretty you just blend it out with your fingers and it will go on nicely um, but as for like under foundation to give you this rosiness maybe it's the shade that I have that it didn't come out that way but also I felt like it stripped off my foundation the eyeliner so with this eyeliner it dried down so quickly which could be a good and it could be a bad on this hand it's good for your eyes when you when you have your liner but it's also bad because it's really hard to play with and it's hard to move so once it's dry you have to keep dipping back in here because it dries down on the brush as well so like if I'm using it it would be good for like that first swipe that I do and then it's dry and I have to dip back in so you're using a lot of product and it's really hard to play with and it takes too much time and you just you just don't want to do it anymore but other than that like the color was beautiful like the way like it's good it's just it has a little bit of kinks in it mm. the blush from hourglass I am obsessed with this thing is so pretty it gives you the right amount of pink that you need and I feel like everyone should have one the um, primer it was nice I love the way it smelled it felt really nice on the skin I have no complaints um I feel like I would have to use it probably like once or twice but I don't feel like it it it's anything wrong I mean my skin looks nice so so the lipstick lipstick I would said it made me overdraw my lips a little bit but the color is beautiful the formula is beautiful like it feels so comfortable on the lips I love like the the satin sheen it has going on I just I like it I feel like maybe it's just me and my lip shade that it made me overdraw it because I kept like going around a little bit but it made me overdraw my lips but either way I feel like what's wrong with a little bit you know lips you know I mean I didn't overdraw it like too much and I think it's like a very nice color I don't know I just like it I think it's really good what did you guys think of my box this boxes this month um did you like them did you not like them did you get a box and was it different than anything that i got in my box let me know down below i want to know what you got as well i'm i'm pretty impressed with the premium i do feel for like an extra ten dollars it did give me some good stuff inside of it as well but i would have to go back and refer to the prices again because i mean shoot it gave me a whole hourglass blush in there i mean i think i'm, I'm pretty wild by it honestly i liked it um but then again i can try again next month see how it goes and if i don't know I, I i feel like i'm kind of on the fence about it but we will see i mean it's not that expensive i mean it's only an extra ten dollars it only gave me six products i'm really gonna look up into that and see how many products it's supposed to give me because i really don't know and i should really check thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a little comment down below and let me know what you would like to see me do next um let me know if you think i should not get a premium next month let me know if you think i should do the boxes separately next time i mean i did it together so i'm not sure how long this video is gonna be but like i did them together so i do feel like it was a little bit more difficult and like timey to do both of them but if you guys would like to see me still do both but like maybe separate videos let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button down below so that you'll be notified every time that I upload. 
thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye let me see a better group when the beat drops